Hey Pisces, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces for the next two weeks or so. Eh, depends on when it resonates with you and when it doesn't. Each and every one of these cards is a mental, physical, or emotional process. And it depends on your ability to process, anybody who's involved in the reading's ability to process, and your own personal journey, right? Not everybody's journey, even if this resonates with you. This journey isn't your journey. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading might resonate with you. Or it might not, right? Take it for what it is and leave the rest behind. You may find yourself anywhere in this reading. Maybe it hasn't happened for you yet. Maybe it's over. Maybe you find yourself somewhere in the middle. It just depends on your journey, Pisces, okay? All right, disclaimer, this may or may not be a rated R channel, so I just want to give you the heads up that uh, I dropped the F-bomb, and if that offends you, then left swipe, left click, and go someplace with a more conservative tone to it. What else, Pisces? Oh yeah, hey, if you want a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There is a link in the box below and we will hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. All right, Pisces, let's talk about this, okay? Let's talk about this. All right, so you open this reading with the Princess of Wands, right? This is formulating a decision-making process formulating a decision-making process. And, and it's also, I do believe it hits on a little bit of communication as well. Some kind of small communication, okay? Some kind of small communication. And, and I wanted to know what preceded this Princess of Swords, right? Why the Princess of Swords? Why are you formulating a decision-making process here? Why? Well, because the Seven of Cups comes in and says that you have a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion to the Six of Wands about victory, progress, and success when it comes to someone offering you their cup of love with the Prince of Cups right there. Someone wanting to swoop in and be your knight in shining armor or your princess in shining armor, however it goes for you, okay? So there's lots of confusions about victory, progress, and success when it comes to accepting an offer of love from the Prince of Cups, okay? That's why you're in the Princess of Swords. And I want to point out that this is a little bit of a defensive decision-making process, right? It's, it's swords are our mental, right? Our mind, our thought processes. And this Princess of Swords, she's, she's kind of sharp about how it is she's making this. She's not using emotion to, to do this decision-making process. She's using her intellect, okay? To the Ace of Swords, because some kind of truth has been spoken, this Prince of Cups has spoken some truth to you that makes you have to be quick on your feet and formulate a plan as to how you are going to um, react in this situation, right? Death card comes in, says this truth that was spoken is about a transformation of the relationship, clarified by the Princess of Pentacles. This Princess of Pentacles is about manifesting opportunity, right? To the Princess of Swords, reiterates, this is the truth that was spoken from this Prince of Cups to transform this relationship, to manifest a new opportunity. And there you are in the Princess of Swords again. Oh, I got to show you. You're probably wondering why the hell there's twin cards here, right? Um, this is my old Tarot Illuminati deck. This is my new Tarot Illuminati deck, okay? So new and old. The foundation cards I did with the old deck, the clarifying cards I did with the new deck, okay? I did not combine them together. They are individual. Foundation cards, clarifying cards, okay? Same deck, same everything, just one's new and one's old, okay? So that's why we're seeing, that's why you're seeing mirror images of cards here. 
So the manifestation of a new opportunity, the transformation of this relationship, the truth that was spoken by the Prince of Cups has you in a state of confusion as to whether you can have success with this or not, right? So the Eight of Swords comes in, right? In your head hard, hard with the Eight of Swords. This is a self-imposed mental restriction. But I'm going to tell you what, Pisces, eight is the number of movement, action, change, rebirth, accomplishment, and success. So while the Eight of Swords seems to be quite an imposing card, right? Um, this is where we get shit done in our mental. Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords is where we get shit done in our mental. Okay, so you are in the Eight of Swords, but it's a good place to be because you're figuring it out, right? You're figuring it out. What you come to, the, the, the decision that you come to, this decision-making process, the decision-making process, what you come to is the Nine of Pentacles. This Nine of Pentacles is about um, a culmination, right? A culmination because nines, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the, for example, Nine of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords. Nines are about fruition, attainment, conclusion, completion, right? So your decision is to bring this situation to a culmination because you have thought long and hard in the seven of pentacles. Is this investment going to reap the profit and reward that I would expect? Seven is about reflection, assessment, um, trying to understand motivations, observing somebody, observing somebody's motivations, investigation, discovery, knowledge. And you have done them all in the Seven of Pentacles when it comes to this offer from the Prince of Cups, right? So you're going to bring it all to a conclusion. You're going to bring it all to a conclusion. The wheel says that your conclusion is is that after much reflection and assessment this is a cycle change right you're going to close out the way things were and you're going to open up to the way things could possibly be the prince of pentacles says that you have surveyed the landscape of your life and your conclusion is that it might just be happier if you let this prince of cups in okay Queen of Swords in the middle of your reading. That means this entire reading revolves around your clear thinking, intellectual power, right? Your truth, right? Your, your ability to make a decision with logic, reasoning, and intellect. You are making a judgment call without relying on your emotion right here. This is clarified by the Queen of Wands to the Seven of Wands to the Two of Pentacles. What you're trying to get to the bottom of right here, Pisces, is that this Prince of Cups who's coming into you is being, <laughs> this Prince of Cups who is bringing a message about love to you, Pisces, is um is um the queen of wands okay it's the it's the queen of wands the seven of wands represents a challenge and the two of pentacles talks about um juggling pisces juggling okay so this queen of wands personality who is the prince of cups poses a challenge to you because at some point in the situation, hold up, I'm going to retract that statement. I'm going to get a clarifying card. Hold on. Actually, I'm going to use this deck. <clears throat> hold on just a second. Hold on. Hold on. So tell me, spirit, tell me, spirit, what is, uh, what is this two of pentacles to the queen of wands to the seven of wands? What is this right here? Is this about juggling or is this about prioritization spirit? I just don't really, 
I just don't really know. Let me see what we got here. Oh, good Lord, we got a whole book. So we have the King of Wands, Strength, the High Priestess, In Your Head, Manifesting, Taking Inspired Action, Movement, Swift Change, Feelings, Culmination. Okay? So what these are saying is that exactly what I started to say, but I doubted myself and I stopped. Okay. This Queen of Wands person, this Prince of Cups, this Queen of Wands is a challenge for you to balance, okay? It's a challenge for you to balance the idea of, of coming together with this person. The High Priestess comes in and says that you really are sitting down with your subconscious mind and your intuition, and you're really putting the wood to the fire, Pisces, in regards to your feelings, because somebody left you out in the cold, or you had to leave this person out in the cold. Broken heart. Four of Pentacles says insecurity, self-protection. Princess of Cups says that you have blocked emotional creation with this person. That's your healing, right? Is blocking the emotional creation. So what this tells me, there's a whole new spin here now. What this tells me is that this is somebody from your past who is coming in. We have no six of cups, nothing that indicates somebody from the past, no three of cups reuniting, but this broken heart right here and the five of pentacles tells me that you have a history with this person. That's why this queen of wands, who is the prince of cups, is a challenge for you to prioritize. That's why you have to sit down with the high priestess and sort out your feelings with the queen of cups because somebody was left out in the cold last go round and now you're super self-protective and you have blocked any kind of creation of anything with this person in order to heal and move on from the broken heart that is obviously part of the history here. Okay? Okay. Come down here, and we have the Queen of Wands. Same Queen of Wands, same Prince of Cups. I asked specifically, I'm like, who is this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is her? Who is her? Who is her? Who is she? Who is this Queen of Wands? And lo and behold, the King of Wands showed up. So this is a fiery individual, right? Male, female, doesn't matter. They're fiery. They're determined. They are um, exuberant and vibrant, right? Might be a little, might dabble in the occult or the metaphysical a little bit. They're extremely intuitive and um, they're going to stand by your side. They're about achievement and success. This is the power couple right here, right? the power couple, even though each of them have their own fucked up things going on, they still together, right? That, that whole thing that says, uh, find somebody just as fucked up as you are and be together, right? That's what the King and Queen of Wands is right there. So spirit says that the Queen of Wands is the King of Wands. This is the personality that you're dealing with, right? Um, somebody just attractive and just magnetic. Okay. To the three of wands. This is having some foresight, right? You are trying to have some foresight in the situation. Hence the, the eight of swords and the seven of pentacles and the whole, the queen of swords trying to make a logical decision. You're trying to have some foresight about how this could possibly play out for you. Because the nine of pentacles comes in and says it's been brought to a completion once before. Because of injustice, because where there was where where there was supposed to be truth and honesty, there was dishonesty and a lack of accountability. There was unfairness somehow, some way in this whole broken heart thing, whether you broke their heart, they broke your heart, doesn't matter. But Pisces right there is the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess says that there is pain involved in this situation. 
Nine of Swords comes in and reiterates that, right? In your head, wrote this off as a painful lesson once before, and now you're revisiting the Nine of Swords. It's about depression, intense anxiety, despair, painful lessons, hopelessness, and torment. But I'm going to tell you, just like I did with the Eight of Swords, Nine is about fruition, attainment, conclusion, completion, and fulfillment. So as painful as it may be to be in this nine of swords energy, just like the eight of swords energy, this is where we get shit done. Staying up at night, rubbing our forehead, um, pulling our hair out. That's where we get the mental done that needs to be done. Okay. And that's what you're doing. You're putting the wood to the fire and you're working this out. Tower. This is a tower moment in your life, Pisces. A complete and tower moment. A tower in your fields, possibly a tower in your environment. I mean, it's just chaos and upheaval because you blocked the creation. You blocked your emotions to this person and you, you, you healed, okay? At least a little. At least you were on the upswing to healing, right? And now this shit. Now this, right? It's a tower moment for you. King of Swords comes in and says that there is some truth that was spoken and a decision that needs to be made because of that truth. King of Swords, Ace of Swords. Decision, truth, tower. Okay? To the Ten of Cups. This truth that was spoken to Pisces, the Queen of Cups. The truth that was spoken is Pisces. Pisces, I want the Ten of Cups with you. I want harmony, happiness, values alignment in a relationship with you. I have feels for you, Pisces. Pisces, I want the Ten of Pentacles. I want to build a foundation with you. I want to build a life with you to the Eight of Wands. And I don't want to wait. I want to do it right now. I want an energetic push in this relationship. And I want to be lovers. I want a love relationship with you, Pisces. I want to be your knight in shining armor. I want to be the key to your success. I want to bring the world to your feet. I want you, Pisces. And that is what you have to look forward to, Pisces, in the next two weeks. It's what you have to look forward to. This is what is coming down the road for you if it has not already. Remember, it's absolute fucking insanity to make a life-altering decision off of a general tarot card reading. So, my friend, please... Please, please, if you need some clarification about what's going on in your life, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader and get a tarot card reading. If you would like me, I am at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Look, look, King, totally different deck, right? Uh, I was asking for um, advice in, in my mind as I was talking. So the King of Wands, right? We got the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. We have... Fire energy everywhere. Do you have to be dealing with a fire sign? No, you do not have to be dealing with a fire sign. But this person is extremely passionate about you. To the star card, they want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with you. You're going to have to have a lot of strength because like I said, you blocked the creation of any kind of emotions with this person. However, this can turn around and you can accept a message of, um, of creating a new beginning if you want to, but you still have feelings of loss, regret, and disappointment, but boom, snickers, but boom, there's a tower moment, right? tower moment. This is like this whole spread in a short little four or five card spread right there. So yeah, Pisces, do you have any advice for Pisces spirit? Any advice for Pisces? Think about it with the four of cups. Think about it, Pisces. Think about it. Contemplate and reevaluate. Contemplate and reevaluate who you're dealing with. 
if it is illusion and wishful thinking before you take inspired action that perhaps in a two of cups relationship that perhaps is something that may or may not um I don't know. It's so individual, right? Everybody is so in such an individual situation, Pisces, and the judgment call is yours, right? Right? Look, Nine of Swords again. That's why Spirit's not giving us an ending, right? They're not giving us an ending because there's so much free will here. How in the world can anybody possibly understand or predict what decision or what the outcome of this whole situation is going to be because there's so much free will all the way around. But what I can tell you, Pisces, is that you have somebody coming in that wants to engage and work on it and look the fucking queen of wands again. Holy schmoly. Wow. That's amazing. We have four sets of king and queen. We have the king of queen of wands here. We have the king and queen of wands here. And we have the just the queen of wands behind all of this. That is amazing. That's amazing, Pisces. So there you go. That is your reading. Um, I do hope that it resonated. I hope that it helped somehow, some way to bring some clarity or at least some excitement into your life. Right, Pisces? All right. There you go. Deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste, my friends.